Uh, please forgive me today. I have that seasonal cold allergies or whatever. So my voice is a little bit froggy. But today, one of the most important things in making um, making um, bathmetric maps is is um, if you do not have a good shoreline, you might you might have to make it yourself. And what I do is I use Google Earth Pro. I have it already loaded up here. And I'm going to show you how to do this. It's not that hard of a um, for smaller lakes. It's it's not really that hard to do. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna click on here, add polygon, and I am going to give it a name, Lake Kirkstone. Oh, look at that. What is going on? You can add a description here, but I like to give it a, I just choose black. And I give it about a 2.1. 2.2 will work. Okay, I'm going to choose just outlined because if not, it's going to fill in this whole area here. And we don't want that. We just want an outline. And what's really cool about the polygon is it, um, it will create the shoreline, but also it gives us some neat information about you know if you're into like how long how far would it be to walk around the body of water or how far you know how much area how big is this lake so make sure do not close this down right here um if you well we've named it so we have it right here so um but i i a lot of times will close it down and then i can't make my polygon and I've done it so many times so now I Google Earth when I I start at one place and I, I kinda put a I'm gonna put a dot there and then I go I either go left or right it doesn't matter so I just kinda do a little trace of the lake and I'm going to use this to navigate up now I could just hold this down and draw but the, the downside to that is it's very hard to control and I'll, I'll show you I'll show what I mean a little bit later after we get this Okay, uh-oh. I'm going to put this one over here. You can just... This is going to give us just a beautiful shoreline for our maps. And you can apply this to other things too. I mean, it doesn't have to be for lake chat um lake maps a lot of people use the polygon thing to measure how many acres how big is this area but the angle here i know this like this is kind of weeded area the angle here for what we're doing is just basically making a nice little shoreline and remember, the more points you have, it won't look as choppy or blocky. Like I could do a one like that and it'll look, eh. I'll show you what I mean. I know this body of water though, so it's on, on different, um, different bodies of water, it will Sometimes there will be a lot of overhang from the tree. Okay. So you kind of get the gist of... 
I try to like right here. You see, we have a dock here. I zoomed in a little bit. I try to go right through the right through the dock. And then I'm gonna. Okay. Well, let's see. Let's see how big this is. Um, if I was to walk around it, it'd be just about a mile. I think a mile is like 5,200 and something feet, but it's um, right about a mile. But this um, this here is a 19.2 acre lake. And, oops, I'm going to click on this just to give it see how the water now I'm just gonna kind of kind of go around and just double check my work I'm gonna move gonna move that sucker there wherever you click it's it starts with the point afterwards and once you do this a few times you'll be like ah, I kind of get the gist of this but this is one cool tool. Now, I'm gonna put one right there. This is like a hidden cove. It's not hidden, I mean it has a canopy of trees. But basically, there it is. Now, here's what would have happened if we would have done filled and outlined. Okay, but we just want the, we're just using this for the shoreline that we're going to input into AutoChart Pro. So we're just going to choose Outlined, and we're going to click OK. And, don't know why it went there, I'm going to put it right here. I don't like it in a temporary place, well, okay, now I'm going to save it. I did a right click on this, and I'm sure you could go to edit, file, save, save, okay. But I do a right click, and I choose save place as. And the big thing here for AutoChart Pro to recognize it, it has to be a KML file. Now some other GIS applications, they might allow you to do KMZs and things like that, but through these tutorials that I'm just going to show you what I've learned because Hummingbird, um, they bought the they bought the software um, so they could um, I don't know what their intention was, but it's it's a great tool to accompany their new fish finders that I mean are doing things today that ten years ago the government was spending hundreds of thousands of dollars on. You know, I mean we can go out with the Helix series in Map Lake. In a couple hours and <coughs> and we can do it for about a thousand dollars now you know with all the software the scanners and just um just if we have our boat and then you know so anyhow this is this is what i do i map lakes and so i'm gonna i'm gonna go to my ssd drive and um Let's do other maps. And I want to keep these separate. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder. And we're going to call this individual maps. In my community, there's 11 lakes that I'm going to map. And here's, let's just do Kirkstown. Okay, and I'm going to save it like that. 